season's getting closer. How have you settled in? Yeah, I've settled in nicely. You know, it's, um, it's a great club to be at, and all the boys are really welcoming. And um, you know, I probably played against and, and knew a lot of the boys coming here previously. So um, that's made the transition pretty easy, and it's just good to be home back in Brisbane. Even on a day like this, when it's uh, hot, steamy, it's the, I mean, you don't get weather like this in, in Sydney. Yeah, the, humid's, the humidity's kind of gone through the roof the last week. I've just come back from COVID, so that's already rattled me a little bit. And then come straight into this heat, it's pretty tough, but. Um, yeah, you get used to it, I guess. So it's all right. How bad? How bad was the COVID? Or do you have much symptoms? I was, I was, I was pretty um, lucky. I think um, I only had a bit of a scratchy throat, and that was about it. And and my transition back seemed to be pretty good. We had a few, we had a few, um, few boys coming back and, and kind of struggled getting back into the running type of things and the fitness. But um, yeah, I seemed to come back fine. It's happening again. I saw it on, I saw it on Instagram, but the boys giving you a bit of stick for not getting the captaincy. Did you have a word to Kevin about it? Yeah, well, I thought I was going to be captain, but. Um, We'll see what happens. Nah, uh, that's all right. Adam Reynolds is a great, great captain and he's been a great leader from the get-go. So, um, you know, coming into a new club and he's already um, taken on that role and done it so easily. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a no-brainer for that. What have you learned from him, mate? Um, yeah, he's just, uh, he just calms you down on the field. So I've got luck enough to be able to, to be in his team over there when we do a bit of 30 on 13. And he seems to take my game and everyone else's game to another level. So he just makes you calm and, and probably brings the best footy out of you. So hopefully he keeps that up for the rest of the year. You yeah. saw your old man play so many games in that famous number six jumper. Would you love to emulate him and wear that six jumper? Yeah, obviously. It's, um, yeah, that's why I'm here. I just um, jumped the opportunity to come back home to Brisbane and, and play for the club that I, I grew up loving and, and supporting. So um, to get a chance to do that and, and hopefully a chance to turn the club around and, and turn it back into a powerhouse, um, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Do you think you're a chance of playing five back building? Is that a spot that you, you feel comfortable in? Yeah, I, I think um, there's a lot of spots up for grabs and, and obviously that, that six is the one I'm, I'm trying to get and there's a lot of great players going for it and um, I think it's anyone's game. I think it's going to come down to the trials and, and who performs best in the trials. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle. So you're training at dummy half a bit the other day. Is that another option for you? Yeah, yeah, that's just another option in case, um, you know, if I miss out on the six jersey, um, I can maybe a bit of a utility on, on the bench or... Um, you know, we've only really got Jake Turpin and, and Corey Pakes that can play dummy half at the moment. So with COVID and, and injuries these days, you never know when you might have to jump in there. So it's good to just get some reps in there. Mate, that versatility. versatility. Oh, so that, that versatility, do you reckon that's where you might see yourself or where your best possible chance to land in the 17? Um, look, I think I'm a chance to play six if, if I play well enough in the trials, to be honest. Um, I, I don't think, I know Tyson and um, Albie did great last year and Ezra, um, he's got about a 20 minute highlight video from his four games of cup last year, so he's another one that to watch out for. But um, uh, yeah, I definitely think if I can play the best out of, out of those three, um, I think I'm a chance for six. But yeah, like you said, utility role is definitely another option for me. And um, that's probably a battle between maybe me and Pegsy or, or um, maybe Kobe if he's not starting. What are you, what are you doing to be dad as a player? And, and is that, is that sort of like the fight of what a play for the Broncos as a young player? Yeah, um, you know, watching Kevy grow up, he won a lot of games and won a lot of competitions. So uh, I just know how, how close it made him with all of his Broncos mates. You know, he's still best friends with Alfie, who's here. But a lot, of the, a lot of the blokes that he won premierships and comps with, you know, they're still best mates now. So to try and um, build that uh, bond, I guess, and, um, and those memories would be something that I'd love to achieve. I know nowadays they train in different places. I mean, with the old gym that your dad would have trained in and that sort of stuff. But there's all those pictures of you as a kid around the Broncos and all that sort of stuff, was there part of you when you first walked in and you started putting a jersey on and, um, and you, were, you were a Bronco and you, you sort of look around and think about all those times growing up? Yeah, definitely I had to kind of pinch myself. You know, I'd usually only come in here and just watch training or, or follow Kevy around. So um, it was weird going into the players change room, I guess, and putting on the Broncos training kit and, and coming out. But um, kind of past that stage now and, and um, yeah, just really hoping to hopefully get a spot and, and um, rip into the year. Billy, how hard is it to actually call him Kevy and not Dad? Or, or... Yeah, it, it took about a week, I guess, coming into training. We, we kind of decided that it probably wasn't smart to be calling him Dad at training. So, um, yeah, it probably took about a week for me to get used to calling him Kevy here and, and Dad away from football. But um, there's been a few slip-ups I've got and uh, the boys have definitely let me know about it. Have you felt that pressure to live up to the surname, Billy, growing up, playing footy? Oh, a little bit. There's always a bit of that, um, I guess. But... Um, you know, he's a pretty good player, so pretty big shoes to fill, I guess. But um, I've just tried to make my own path, and um, I think that's probably why I kind of left Brisbane earlier in my career to try and get away, and I went to the Storm and Tigers to try and make my own path. And um, But it's just, I'm just grateful that I get the opportunity to come back here and, and um, 
yeah, play for the Broncos, hopefully. Yeah. What about the knee recoup? How hard was that period trying to go? It's a pretty tough injury to rehab. How hard yeah. was that mentally and physically? Yeah, it was, it was probably uh, more mentally tough than anything. Um, it came at a point um, when I was kind of in and, out of in and out of the team at the Tigers and um, kind of pushed me out to the back end of our choices down the Tigers and, and then also being down in Sydney when COVID was around, it was just me and my partner down there, so it wasn't really like a get out and get your mind away from football. It was kind of just stuck at home with um, a bad knee and pretty much just playing PlayStation. So, was, you know, there were some tough days there, but, um, yeah, we got through it and, um, yeah, now it's just good to be home. Billy, just on COVID again, um, this year going forward, if you're not making the 17 in round one, you know that depth is going to be a massive part for every club with what's going to, you know, what invariably could happen, people getting it. That, that's a that's a big thing, depth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's massive. So, um, you know, hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to play if we're not playing um, first grade. Um, it was, it's it's so important to, to keep your footy up in case you need to be called up into the team and and, um, and to be playing at NRL level. So you need to make sure that you're playing good footy down in Queensland Cup if you're not making it, because um, with COVID and injuries, yeah, you, it changes that quickly that you could be in the team. Uh, Kevin said the other day he was going to pick a six based on uh, defence. That was the most important thing to him. How's, how's your defence? Yeah, since he said that, I think I've, every chance I've had extras, I've been down there trying to do some tackling defence. So, uh, no, uh, Yeah, I back myself. We're all about par there, I think. It's just um, I think we all can defend um, the halves we got here. It's about making the right decisions and, uh, under pressure and, and those types of things and working with our centres and back rowers, I guess. So I guess um, whoever can do that in the trials is probably going to get the six jersey. What about Billy Brinko Lee's training out there today? He seems to have had a good pre-season. I know it's been a tough year for him yeah. at the storm. But how's he settled in here? He looks like he's pushing for a first grade spot. Yeah, he's settled in really nice, Brinko. Um, he, he's, he's a really loud talker in defence, which is what we all strive to be. So um, I'm sure you guys have heard him when he's down here. He's, he's really loud with his talk and he makes right decisions. So um, yeah, he's definitely putting a lot of pressures on the centres we have here. And um, yeah, he'll be thereabouts come round one.